Prepare for Faith and Life Church, welcome you to our virtual community Christmas tree lighting ceremony. We miss not being together in person, but created this video to bring light and joy into the Hereford Zone and your Christmas. We hope you enjoy our songs and stories. At the end of the video, we'll tell you how you can be safely a part of this decorating the tree and giving to others this season. Our tree may not be as big as the one at Rockefeller Center, but it's special to us. In 2017, Luke Van Tran, a Boy Scout in White Hall Troop 92, had a vision to enhance our property by planting a Christmas tree with two nice concrete benches and landscaping. We proudly decorate and light the tree each year to share our spirit and for all to enjoy. As you know, the Christmas tree with glittering lights and ornaments is part of the beauty and meaning of Christmas. There are several legends and stories about the Christmas tree. The first use of the Christmas tree was in medieval German paradise plays, held outdoors portraying the creation of mankind. The tree of life was a fir tree decorated with apples. Later, other ornaments were hung on them, such as paper flowers and gilded nuts. In England, branches or whole trees were forced into bloom indoors for Christmas. From these beginnings, the use of a tree at Christmas was established. Martin Luther was perhaps the first to use a lighted tree. The story is told that on Christmas Eve, Martin Luther wandered outdoors and became enraptured with the beauty of the starry skies. Its brilliance and loveliness led him to reflect on the glory of the first Christmas Eve as seen in Bethlehem's radiant skies. Wishing to share with his wife and children the enchantment he had felt, he cut from the forest an evergreen, glistening with snow, and took it home. He placed upon it candles to represent the glorious heavens he had seen. The use of a candlelit tree spread to all of Europe, then to America. Luke 11.33 says, No one lights a lamp and hides it. Instead, he puts it on a lampstand, 
to light for all those who enter the room. Author June Masters Batcher said, where are the lamps? In a certain mountain village in Europe several centuries ago, uh, so the story goes, a nobleman wondered what legacy he could leave to his townspeople. At last, he decided to build them a church. Nobody saw the complete plans until the church was finished. When the people gathered, they were amazed at its beauty. But no, one person noticed its incompleteness. Where are the lamps? he asked. How will the church be lighted? The nobleman smiled. Then he gave each family a lamp. Each time you are here, the area which you sit, where you sit will be lighted. But when you're not here, some part of God's house will be dark. Many would affirm that the pandemic has turned off the lights in our churches. However, it's never turned out the lights. Jesus said in his Sermon on the Mount, You are the world's light. A city on a hill glowing in the night for all to see. Don't hide your light. Let it shine for all. Let your good deeds glow for all to see, so that they will praise your Heavenly Father. In this little corner of Baltimore County and in communities across the country, we have seen the hidden lights breaking forth through the darkness and entering the chaotic world. Hereford United Methodist Church is a congregation of faith, life, and light where there is an outpouring of love, friendship, and provisions for others. The daily meditations shared by congregants and Pastor Bill have given us lights that have brightened dark corners. The outreach from churches, fire department, senior center, My Neighbors Foundation, food banks, and individual helping hands have highlighted a caring community. Blessings during tumultuous times many lights. Our children learned this lesson very early. Who among us does not remember singing along when they sing this little light of mine? Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Cover it under a bush, oh no, I'm gonna let it shine. Cover it under a bush, oh no, I'm gonna let it shine. Cover it under a bush, oh no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Children with your little masks, I'm sure that Santa knows who it is who is hiding there from your head down to your toes. So gift a gift of smiling eyes for all around to see as you join your family and your friends to light the Christmas tree. Now come right up and decorate this special Christmas tree. Hang your ornaments as high as high for all the world to see. Remember, too, so long ago on another starry night, the angels sang a glorious song. The Christ child was born in holy light. <laughs>
ready to do the countdown for the lighting of the Christmas tree. I hope you enjoyed the annual Hereford Community Christmas tree lighting. Although a little unusual than most tree lightings, we hope that this will bring a light and joy into the Hereford Zone and your Christmas. We have a way you can add to the light and joy through Christmas season. We encourage you to visit the tree located here at Hereford Faith and Life Church at the corner of York and Moncton Roads. We'd like you to come from December 7th to December 20th in the evenings from 4 to 8 p.m. So bring a pair of new socks to donate to the Hereford Food Bank. Socks will go into a basket by the tree. Have your family make an ornament to place on the tree or take one from our bin to hang on the tree. The ornaments can be added evenings from 4 to 8 p.m. from December 7th to December 20th. And then please take a treat bag and candle to take the light out into the community. Place an ornament on the tree and take a photo to share on social media at hashtag HerefordTree2020. Take a look at the updated video after December 20th. We hope that you all have a blessed Christmas. We really appreciate you taking the time to join us. Thank you for doing that. God bless you, keep you safe, and have a very Merry Christmas.